So on the way from capital of Oman, Muscat, I have stumbled upon this place. I kind of knew about it, I was looking for it, but I wasn't sure I would find it because there are no tourists, no signs anywhere pointing to this place, even though it is a World Heritage Site. So let me show you around a little bit. So what does it say here? Falash al Malki is one of the five Omani Aflash inscribed in the World Heritage List on 16th July 2006 under the reign of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said. The recognition of these traditional water delivery systems which came into existence as far back as 2000 years ago as international landmarks highlights the outstanding contribution of Omani engineering ingenuity to irrigation, agricultural development, human settlement and traditional management systems among other civilizations. Physical data Falash length 15,000 meters total demand 157,000 square meters irrigation area depth of mother well nine and a half meters recharge branches 17 so that's all it says here and now let's look at the canal so what it does is it distributes water from high up in the mountains and basically that was what allowed people to settle the area because otherwise there is no surface water no lakes no permanent rivers no nothing and obviously nowadays they use water pumps to distribute the water on the farms but the basic system still works the water comes down here to the lower elevation and is being used for farming for life. Let's have a look what they grow here. Very successful farmer here has a very nice house and here they are growing agriculture area. I won't be probably able to tell you what they grow many times and I see them here in the distance as well they grew date palms okay let's have a look here yep the water down there still flowing and here they use modern equipment pipes tubing and so on and this is what they grow right here and I don't think they have a bad living here look at the house behind the walls pretty impressive the water is nicely flowing very clear of course nowadays it's reinforced with concrete and what is this structure I have no idea I don't know if it's ancient or if it's a replica it's built from mud yeah mud structure and the water comes from some higher points in those mountains surrounding the town and it's overcast and it has been since I came here so we cannot see the mountains behind those trees over there I'm in the foothills of 3,000 meters high mountains and I'm not quite sure if I should, could, would make it there because they have some signs by the road saying something like make sure 
that you have enough water, which is not a problem, but make sure that you know how to drive a four-wheel drive. And when I look over there, I see a dirt road with some cars occasionally going down. And I'm not sure if this is the road to the mountains, I suppose it could be. And I stopped here because I saw this castle and I possibly wanted to visit but sadly it's closed, it doesn't explain why, but it is what it is, it's closed. So let's take a peek on the center, the main road of the town. And by the way, this is uh, again World Heritage Site because of the water canals and you can see the water flowing down here. This is the water distribution canal and behind you can see a lot of date palms that obviously are fed water from those canals actually I see the canal right there I don't know if it's visible right behind the wall almost anyway so maybe I will just jump in the car and go as far as I can, we will see. Here it is, the marker, World Heritage Site, in French, German, and I guess there should be in English. to prayer for all believers. So I guess there must be a mosque behind the castle. And here is some sign, sadly only in Arabic, so I have no clue. the castle is closed it would be interesting to go and see but it's clearly not possible this parking area is only for visitors and there are no cars here but here I see the map let's have a look Western Hajar mountains Ministry of Heritage and Tourism. Okay, so we are here. Red dot. And this is where I would like to get, but we will see. And here it is in black and white or white on brown. Ensure the tires and the four wheel drive systems are in good condition. Make sure you know how to operate the four-wheel drive and so on. So that's the end of the road for me because, not only because of the sign, but over there is a police checkpoint and I was told they would not let me drive in a two-wheel drive. So I have to turn and go back and I will go back to I will go to Nizva actually now